check, check, test. One, two, one, two, check. I'm recording on two different cameras. I have my Sony back there, which is picking up the audio, and I have my Canon R7 over here, and what you see on top of that is my Feel World 5.5 V2 monitor, uh, external monitor, which makes it really, really nice to see. I uh, The video for that is linked up over here, so you, you'll if you want to check that out. It makes it much easier. If you have the little flippy screen, it's okay, and it works. It does work just fine, but you can see yourself much better here, and I can see my histograms constantly in this one. It, you can change all the settings to see what you want, and I, I love that. Today what I am shooting is, this is Canon's R3. This one is not a rental. This one is mine. Check it out. R3. I love, I really do like the size of the body, which is why on my D800, I had the, the battery grip on there. It felt good. Uh, with the Z9, I actually liked that form factor. I think it's fantastic. And the lens that I'm using today is Canon's 100 to 500. Again, this was mine. I was shooting yesterday and I was just so excited to go out. I got it set up, but I had forgotten to set the, um, to update the firmware. So now today the, the, the firmware has been updated. It is getting really, really hot, which means the bees are going to be coming out. And this 100 to 500 with the 1.4 extender putting me at 700 millimeters f/10 is an absolute beast and a blast of a way to go because it just it gets all that detail. So I'm going to take you back to yesterday, where I was filming at Sepulveda. Let's go back there. All right, so I am using two different cameras for this one. I've got my Sony over here, my Sony video camera that I'm using my filters on, and then I have my Canon R7, this one right here, that I have my variable ND filter on. Yes, I love filters for video. On this one, I have it set at an f2.8, uh, 1 60th of a second, auto I, no, no. Uh, ISO is 200, but I'm watching my histogram. Why? Because I'm using my Feel World screen on here. I can see everything, and it is so awesome. I'm out today shooting Canon. This is mine, 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 mine. I bought it. It's not a rental. This is my Canon R3, and this is Canon's 100 to 500 on this with the 1.4 extender on it. Today I have been out shooting. Well, I came out for bluebirds. I saw, shot one maybe. I got an Osprey. I got the bees as it starts to warm up today. They're going to be more and more bees, and the, I got one butterfly kind of from a distance. I got some Phoebes. It's just been a phenomenal day. Let me show you a couple of shots, even some lapses. This, this is a truly, truly phenomenal camera. Check these out.
Johnny Pink, man, thank you so much. Oh, and, and I know I said this, but I met Iris today. She came up, she said hi, and, and we talked for a little bit. Meeting folks out here is the highlight of my day. It is something I will think about the entire day. I love it. I, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate meeting people out here. It, it is the highlight. It's, it's, it's better than just out being out taking a photograph. I get to meet people. That is huge. So thank you. It was an absolute pleasure to anyone when you see me. Come up, man. Say hi, please. So again, this was Canon's R3. My, I love this camera. And the 100 to 500 with the 1.4 extender on there puts me at 700 millimeters. Not quite the 800 that I like. Puts me at an F10, but this lens is so incredibly short, uh, sharp. And you have that short minimum focus distance, which for me is the highlight of it. It's the selling point for sure. Yes, I did trade my R5 for this, but there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, I fell in love with this camera more so than I thought that I would. That's number one. Number two, I would have gotten rid of that anyway, depending on the specs of the new R5 II or even the R1. I do like keeping all of my gear new and up to date. It's so much fun. The only camera I will probably never ever get rid of, unless it's stolen, is the D800. Nikon hit it out of the park with that, and even to this day, I think that is the best camera ever made. Johnny Pink, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me share with you guys. And again, as I said at the beginning, if you see me out here, please come up, say hello. I love, love meeting people out here. It's the highlight of what photography for me is all about. Johnny Pink, you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you. Check this out. Wait, wait, I need my thumbnail before I go. How's that? Is that good? That, that, that good, solid look? <laughs> Johnny Pink, I'll see you guys. I hope I was in record now I can see it. It was planned. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, and I do shoot a mechanical, even though I can do electronic. I, tactile, I like that. I like the way it feels. I want to know what I'm shooting. Electronic just feels like I'm lost. We'll see you guys.